welcome back to another episode of Solos for Beginners. 10 videos based off 10 solos that are based on getting you from start to finish, welcoming you into the world of lead guitar and solos and general egotistical expression of guitar. So today we have a very easy solo to go through. The solo from Seven Nation Army by, of course, the White Stripes. Although this is a great first solo to learn and to really, really get your chops together for lead guitar, there are many things you can actually take from this solo and learn, especially as a beginner. And I'm also going to take you through a simplified, non-slide version that anyone can do. And then I'm going to take you through a few tips about going up to the slide version, which is the way it actually is meant to be. It is a slide solo. So this whole solo is in E minor, and we're really going to drive home that root note of E a fair amount. So brace yourselves for that, and that's exactly where we're going to start. On the ninth fret of the G string, the higher E up there. And we're going to hit that five times. One, two, three, four, five. Sliding up to the twelve. And then eleven. And when you hit the twelfth fret on the G string there, give it a little bit of attention, a little bit of stretch. That just helps give it that suspense and movement as opposed to playing it flat. And so the next little phrase we have to contend with is... So simply enough, starting straight back again on that same ninth fret of the G string, with two hits. Hit, hit, slide up to the 12. And so once we're up here with our ring finger, 14, back to 12 for two hits and a slide up to 14 again. Putting that all together, getting... Then we're just going to go simply 12 and then 11. So this third phrase of the solo is very, very similar to the first phrase that we just went through before. We're going to do three hits on the ninth fret of the G string and then up to 12 and back again to the 9 with a quick slide. 9, 9, 9, 12, 9. And then back up to the 12 and then the 11, the exact same as the first phrase. And in the spirit of being the bearer of good news, this next part is exactly the same as the second phrase. So this puts us at the halfway point. So let's go back to the start of the solo and go through again slowly and with some tabs. Interesting little side note, a lot of the phrases in the solo end on the F sharp, which is the second note in the scale, the second interval. And this is not really a very common interval to end a phrase or solo on, because it has this dark, unanswered question kind of tension to it, but I think it adds a really cool vibe to the song, and it's an interesting way to use it. Awesome, so going now into the second half of the solo, we're going to jump up an octave right to the 12th fret of the high E. So very, very, very similarly to the first phrase and the third phrase of this solo, except simply an octave up, we're going to hit 12, 12, slide up to 15, and then back for two hits on the 12. And then straight after that, 15 and 14. Now when we give this 15th fret on the high E string a bit of tension, give it a lot of tension, actually pull it a little bit out of key. At least that's what Jack White does in the solo. With his slide, he goes just a little bit too far and we're gonna do that with our bend. We're gonna actually pull it into a slightly ugly territory. Uh, yet again, kind of repeating ourselves and very similar to the second and fourth phrases of this solo. So just 12, 12. Sliding up to 15 with your ring finger, hitting the 17, then 15, 15 with a slide up to 17, then back to the uh, 15 for a hit, 
hit with a slide up to 17, back down to 15 for a two hits and a slide. Nearly there now, rounding off into this. And that is just simply gonna be 12, 12, then with your ring finger, hitting the 15 on the high E, but with a slightly sharp bend. Then back down to two more hits on the 12. And then getting that 15th fret on the high E, and giving it a mean full tone bend. Coming back down, putting it where it belongs, on the 15th fret, and then going back down to the 12th fret for 12, 12, 14, two times. Then this little rundown going 12, 13 on the B string, and 12 on the B string, resolving on that fifth bend. So that finishes off this solo, so let's go back to the start of the solo and go through it together slowly and with some tabs. So now let's have a little bit of fun talking about the slide version here. So if you really want to get into the details of this kind of solo, especially in regards to how he does it live, you kind of can't do this without talking about the type of guitar tone he has, because there is no bass player or second guitarist live for the White Stripes, and so as a result he has this massively fuzzed out, nearly lower octave style guitar tone that just chews up a huge amount of frequency so that it fills in the space. So a good way to do this is just a good old fashioned big muff pedal, just a huge, thick, nasty fuzz. So the studio slide version is really not that much different to a non-slide version. <laughs> If we're going to talk about the live version, we've got something a little bit different to contend with. Now, for this version, I'm just down in drop D, which for those who don't know, I'm simply getting my E string and tuning it down a whole step till we get to D. In between each phrase, he darts back and plays the root note. So in between... This allows the momentum to still keep going and the bass to not drop out of the song and allows there to still be a huge amount of frequencies being taken up and satisfying girth to the tone. Girth. Something that I talk about in another solo for beginners video, the one for Scar Tissue by Red Hot Chili Peppers, is when you are changing the string that you're playing on with your slide, make sure that you mute the prior one so you don't have these dissonant notes kind of churning over each other. Thank you very much for joining me today everybody, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something and if you did, make sure that you click that like button and make sure you click the subscribe button and the little bell so I can be ever present in your social media existence. And make sure that you leave a comment down below letting me know what sort of videos you'd like me to do in the future. My name is Brandon Valentine, thank you very much for joining, I'll see you guys next time.